literally just a couple of hours ago, I came up with another philosophy that I thought I could talk about on here, and that is that happiness as a goal is far too vague for your life. Things happen, stuff happens, life exists, and you're not always gonna be happy 100% of the time. There'll be plenty of different positive emotions that you can feel, but happiness will not always be one of them. People can die, stuff can happen, and you will feel some senses of sadness and grief at points in your life. And how you get over that sadness, deal with that grief, and your attitude and mindsets towards it is really the most important thing. But in terms of the stuff that you should potentially, or at least I personally have as a general life goal, are four Fs, four words beginning with F that I genuinely want to achieve. And if I achieve those, I will have considered my life to be a success and I will consider myself actually sort of fulfilled with life and fulfilled is actually one of those four f's fulfillment is this sort of feeling that i felt a couple of times in my current young existence and it's basically when if you could die tomorrow you'd almost be happy with your life you'd almost be happy with what you've done happy with what you achieved and that's such a positive feeling for me and as much as I don't feel totally 100% fulfilled in my life because I haven't completely achieved the other three F's that are also useful and also sort of something that contributes to fulfillment itself. Those other three F's being family, friends and freedom. I'm still in school so I haven't achieved total freedom and total choice with what I want to do with my day-to-day -day existence. I haven't got a family yet and as much as I do have friends I don't think I've built the perfect kind of brotherhood yet that I actually want to have for my later years and in terms of freedom as i say i'm still in school so i can't exactly achieve that yet but when i'm older i want to not necessarily have to wake up every day for a job and have to work and do all that kind of stuff i actually want to work to something that i consider useful and that actually makes me fulfilled because i believe as much as you can do whatever the hell you want at any point in the day if the stuff that you do every day doesn't actually fulfill your existence then you, while you have freedom you don't have fulfillment and you have to find a balance between the two if you have fulfillment and the work that you do on a day-to-day -day basis is fulfilling you have kind of achieved freedom but the work you have to do has to be 100 percent fulfilling otherwise you're not really actually getting anywhere and in terms of family i don't really have a family yet and i don't plan to for a while now at least of my own honestly in terms of my family on the other sort of side of it with your parents and aunts and uncles and that sort of stuff i felt like that side of my family's pretty much well achieved like i adore spending time with that part of my family i adore having dinners and lunches and special occasions if maybe it's a birthday or something and i get to spend time with like a baby cousin or something like that and just be sociable and talk to people that actually gives me a genuine sense of joy in my life and makes me feel fulfilled with that part of my life and it's great but in terms of having a family of my own that's definitely something that i will need to actually be fulfilled if i don't have kids then that's going to genuinely be something that will eat me out to my core for the entirety of my existence if i don't literally pass down my bloodline i would hate to not achieve that and that would leave me with this sort of 50 percent of my fulfillment sort of power and capacity i suppose just not being there as much as i may have freedom this that and the other if i don't have kids and i haven't had the joy and the pleasure of being able to raise them and watch them grow and watch them succeed then what is the point in my own existence i mean i suppose in an evolutionary and bio biological sense the only point of your existence is to create other existences and populate the planet that is reproduction we are after all a natural species and as much as cows and dogs and sheep don't exactly have many purposes in life in, in in the sense of the work that they do their only real purpose is to reproduce and to bring offspring forth this earth and so that's a big part of my own fulfillment and i'm sure that there are many people out there that would also agree with that that is just four things four goals for basically the life the life goals the goals that when you die you want to have them achieved and you will therefore consider your life done and you can die happily and not have any regrets in any kind of way freedom fulfillment family and friends if you max out those four and there are many different parts and they intertwine in a different kind of sense in many different ways if you max out those four things i think there is definitely a way to achieve an incredibly happy life without some of the things that many people say that you need to be happy i suppose there is technically a way to be free and be fulfilled without having a heck ton of money like a lot of people say you need to do and i suppose one other thing i guess i should say is that health is a 
big part of my life and it would be a big part of my life if I want to be fulfilled. And that while it's not technically one of the big main things with that for me, without health, there is no freedom and there is no fulfillment. And there probably will be no potential family and no friends if I just kind of act unhealthily for my own life. I suppose friends would be the only thing that I might actually be able to achieve, but they probably won't be the right f friends for me if I actually wanted to achieve the other three things. But if I want to be fulfilled, I have to be healthy and I have to live a good, strong life that is full of good health. If I want to have a family, I need to be healthy to actually be able to raise my kids well and even potentially to have kids so I'm not in infertile because of all the plasticizers that are in our environment. And the other one was freedom. If you're not healthy, it's quite hard to be free sometimes, especially in your older years, if you're bound to a wheelchair or you're sitting in the in a chair watching TV for 10 hours a day because you didn't take care of your body when you were young. That isn't very freedom as much as you don't actually have a lot of responsibilities, a lot of work to get on with and stuff like that. You can't, your body itself isn't free and therefore freedom cannot be fully 100% achieved. But yeah, with that, that's about all I have to say for these four Fs, freedom, family, friends and fulfillment but with that i recommend subscribing for more content like this and have a good day